Hi Donald, have you read that article in the news? It's about the climate change and its impact on the environment. You should know that Donalds don't believe in climate change. But while we're talking about the environment, I have a question about the operating environment, at least in the context of automotive spies. What is it? Ah, you're talking about best practice 4 of System Engineering 2 and Software Engineering 1. Yes. I remember the assessor tried to explain to us the meaning of operating environment, but really I didn't understand a word of what he said. The operating environment of the product or system on development has two parts. Part one, the context of your system or product, for example, the interfaces of the outside world, wiring, size, weight, housing, communication protocols, as expected by the outside world of your product, is the operating environment of your system. And we have part two. While your system or product is under development, the operating environment also includes your development environment, the tooling, the test equipment. Oh, I see. It's got nothing to do with the climate. That's good. Go on. For example, if one of the requirements has an impact on the size or weight of your product or system, this must be analyzed, discussed and decided whether the outside world is ready for that change. Okay, I see. How should I document this in my process? That's easy. Look here. In auto our automotive generic process, we just saw the description of what is our operational environment. It's defined as a checklist for the requirement analysis. A checklist? Can I get a copy? Sure, of course. The same applies to SWA1, Base Practice 4, the impact on the operating environment. I will send you both checklists.